Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about conditional probability using a tree diagram. Tree diagram is a nice way to organize information, gives you a good visual cue to work off of, and sometimes just helps organize your brain around the problem. In my little scenario that I'm going to create here, I'm going to talk about making uh, something for one of the app stores. So I'm going to build an application. In my setup, I have premium version of the app and I have a free version of the app. Uh, I'm not doing like that freemium thing where you have in-app purchases or any of that nonsense. I'm dealing specifically with the idea of premium versus free. That's it. 15% um, of my users use the premium version, which is probably, a, it's a heck of a lot. I mean, really, most of the premium users versus free is not very good, especially if your free version is half decent. 80% um, of the free version users are satisfied. 5% of the premium version users are unsatisfied. So I need to deal with breaking my uh, set of data up into premium versus free, and then I need to look at their individual or their group satisfaction levels. So in one case, I'm going to be going up like this and then down. So it branches off. That's why it's a tree. So in one case, I have my free users. And on the top, I have my premium people. And I'll be using the first letter of the uh, each set to identify them. Uh, and from there, the premium version has, once again, it breaks off again. I have uh, satisfied people and unsatisfied people. Down below, same thing. I have satisfied people and unsatisfied people. Now, I need to look at the percentages that exist uh, in all this. Like, what does that mean? What's What numbers? How are things looking? So in terms of premium versus free, I know that 15% uh, or 0.15 of my users are premium users. Uh, conversely, I could do 100 minus 15 and get 85%. So 0 0.85 of my users are free, which like I said is a lot of premium users for most apps. Uh, from here, I need to look at what happens with my free version people. Uh, of those, 80% of the free version people are satisfied. So 0 0.80. Now on the other side of it, 20% are not satisfied. Maybe you should pony up some money there, cheapo. Uh, the premium version, which in general in the beginning, if you're doing this type of model, that's really who uh, you'll, you'll probably make some cool stuff for. They get to see all the neat stuff and get the first stuff that rolls out and they get all the really nice things that you like. I mean, it's 99 cents. Just pay up. Um, so I'm actually going to change the color on this one really fast just so I have some level of differentiation. In terms of my premium users, 5%, so 0 0.05 of them are not satisfied, which means a whopping 0.95 or 95% of my premium users are very happy. That's been my focus since I started this app, uh, premium users, and it seems like it's paying off because 5% uh, I could probably deal with unless there's you know 100 users. I should probably figure out why those five are angry, um, and it's probably some weird thing like I don't have enough fonts or whatever. Anyway, um, from here, I want to know what the probability is of my free users and them being unsatisfied. So what's the probability of um, them being free and unhappy? So in order to do that, I need to take the probability of unhappy uh, uh, sorry, the probability of free and I need to multiply that by the probability of unsatisfied when they are free. So how unhappy, uh, what's the probability somebody's unhappy at, even when they got the free version? So what I'm going to do is just make like a little line that sort of indicates so I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it a little smaller so it doesn't look insane so I'm going to go from here. This is my free set, and I'm going to go all the way down to show my unsatisfied people. If it had been free and satisfied, I would go and kind of make the V. Premium and satisfied would be great. Uh, premium and unsatisfied would go you know, up and down. So in order to get it, I'll go ahead and 
kind of flip back into the universe that I was in before, the probability of free would just be this number right here. So 0 0.85. I'm going to multiply that by this number right here, 0 0.2. Zero. So I end up, when I do that, getting something like uh, 0 0.17, so 17%. So I know that 17% of my overall user base is not happy because I have so many of them that are free and 20% of them don't like it. So what that tells me as a, somebody making an app is maybe if I increase the uh, the validity or uh, increase the uses or made it easier to use or better or whatever check the comments figure out why they're upset first off but then I could if I could increase or I could reduce that number in terms of uh, what's the of free users who are unhappy maybe not only can I get more premium users it uh, might help the overall app uh, they may have good ideas because my premium base I'm really shooting to a specific market most of the time and if I could just make it better for everybody maybe I can get more people to pay me for it so that's how you set up uh, with a tree diagram you just set up the initial break in your set so in my case premium versus free for instance if I wanted to do unsatisfied premium users I would do uh, 0.15 because that would go down the free walkway and then times 0 0.05. So of those, only 0.75% uh, of them are unhappy. So I'm doing a good, uh, a 0.75 of my user base is uh, sort of makes that happen. That's what it represents. Of my user base, unsat of my entire user base, I should say, 0.75% of that entire user base is a premium buyer who's unhappy with the product. Whereas uh, right now, if my entire user base, 17% of that user base is a free user who's unhappy. So I need to look at those little demographics and see what I need to shift to gain my, to increase market and whatever it happens to be. But anyway, that's probability with conditional, uh, conditional probability with tree diagrams. It's a nice way to organize things if you have to do the breaks. So just an option.